Hello, I can't believe it's another Thursday night already. And uh, I'm just excited about what's coming up by next Thursday night in May 19th. Be praying, cross your fingers, cross your toes, and let's pray. This wonderful technology here is, is wonderful, but I can't wait to add the keyboard and have some worship and then to be able to pray with you live. So you would get ready with your prayer requests and your praise reports. I have some prayer requests that people have emailed through this through this past week. So we want to pray with them before we before we go. But I also uh, want to just start off this uh, broadcast with a dedication to Jerry. Uh, you know, Miss Jerry was uh, was a blessing as to the I family and to all of us and a great partner with this ministry. And just a few days ago, right, just a, a day or two before she went on to be with the Lord, uh, I got to talk with her. She had uh, sent me a message, left a message a couple weeks back, and on my trip to California, I had plenty of time in driving. And you know, if you talk to Jerry, it's not going to be just a few minutes. It's going to be a while. So I have plenty of time in, uh, in driving, so I said, I'll call her. I gave her a call. We had to pray with her. I laughed with her. We had such a good time, and we talked for... I don't know, close to half hour or more. And uh, she says, oh, I just love the fact that you call me. She says, I can I can go home now, now that you call me. Little did I know that she was prophesying that she was gonna go home. I know that's what she really in her heart was ready for heaven and she was ready to go. And although we're going to mourn and miss her and uh, you know, be sad for just a little bit, I think she'd also want us to celebrate with her, her graduation. My, my daughter's graduating tomorrow we're having a graduation party tonight and then the big graduation high school she graduates high school and it looks like she'll be going this fall to the university of arkansas so we're so proud of her but uh, you know when there's a graduation we celebrate and we're excited about it so uh, as much as we're sad and we're going to miss her let's also celebrate what a great life that she led for the lord what a great uh, woman of faith she'd been through so many trials with her health and so I just want to remember her that way. Remember her as one who loved to praise God and believed in miracles. God had given her miracles of healing. We've seen that before. She was such a blessing. I hope you'll take time at following this program at 8 o'clock. You can go through my website or you can go to the, uh, the Yahoo website and we'll have information how you can connect and link to there for you. Uh, so you can go right to that. At 8 o'clock, they're going to have a memorial service. And again on Sunday, Sunday at 8 o'clock Central Time. It'll be 8 o'clock Central Time. It's 8 o'clock tonight Central Time. But then again on Sunday will be the main, and there'll be folks chatting and talking about her life and talking with one another as the I family. So I hope you'll join in on that, Miss Jerry. Whether you're new or not, it's going to be a good time. And I'm going to try to be in there and link in there on uh, Sunday night for that memorial service for a great woman of faith you know and we go through trials we go all of us go through things like when we miss friends when they go on or family members but you know we can just have like I know today it was, it was a, just a bad day for me I just nothing seemed to work right you have just one of those days but more than just having a bad hair day you know you just have some tough times uh, these prayer requests that we received are, are these are terminal things we have one whose son is diagnosed with brain tumor and it looks terminal and a daughter, they're praying for their daughter who has uh, cancer. You know what? When all those things uh, start coming our way, I think the best thing we can do is keep our focus not only on Jesus, but on the fact that we are only in this life temporarily. We're going to be graduates into a place called heaven. To remember that is the, is the greatest thing that we can do and keep our focus and our heart towards home, which is heaven. You know, always remember that uh, this is not our final home, but it's heaven. And so if we look at the big picture, if we keep focused on the big picture, our problems, I wrote this down, I saw this uh, just today, our problems are an opportunity to discover God's solutions. And if we'll just connect to the one who created everything anyway, he'll pull us through. I also wrote down that life isn't just waiting for the storm to pass, but it's about learning how to dance in the rain. So whatever storm comes your way today, this week, this month, or what you've been facing for the past few months, whatever storm that it is, don't just sit around waiting for it to pass and just uh, dwell in the negativity of what's going on in your life. It's so easy to do. I catch myself doing that so very easy. But I like what it says, and, and it's an anonymous, I don't know who wrote it, but they're genius. They, they got the idea about life. It's not just waiting for the storm to pass. 
It's learning how to dance in the rain. And so dance in the rain. Celebrate. Uh, we celebrate the life of Jerry today, and we celebrate the life God has given all of us. It's eternal life. That's what the exciting part is. Because of heaven, because of Jesus, we will see Jerry again. You will see your loved ones. You will see your friends again. And as much as I know that is true, I know you will be healed. I know God will touch you. I just want to pray. Bert and Jean, their daughter Karen, was just diagnosed this week with rectal cancer. God, I know you're the answer for cancer. I know that you can help them. I know you will bless them. I know you will give Bert and Jean strength, but also you will raise up Karen. No matter what the doctors say, Lord, you're the great physician and you can heal. And I believe it for Karen right now in Jesus' name. Amanda's son has been diagnosed with brain, a brain tumor right now. These are pastors in Springfield in Missouri. And I just pray right now, God, you'll reach down. And you'll, he's been through this before and you healed him before. God, you can do it again. Amanda told me that it will take a miracle today. But God, you are in the business of doing miracles. And everyone within the sound of my voice that needs a miracle from you today, Lord, grant it, Jesus. I know you're able. I know you're willing. You're able to do exceedingly abundantly above all we could ask or think. Eyes haven't seen and ears haven't even heard all the things that you prepared for those that you love. Bless them this day. Help them this day. I pray it in Jesus' name and believe it. And with all this, uh, so the bad news, there's a good news. Jeff and Tracy emailed and let me know that they've been praying about a car. And uh, we prayed. I, they, they, uh, they sent, uh, I believe it was Facebook. And they got on Facebook and said, we have a need. Would you pray with us? And so I went back and said, what's the specific need? You know, you have a specific need you're, uh, and, and call out the specific need to God, you'll get a specific answer. And uh, the answer came back. I think they said it was a Nissan. They got a new car, a th 2002. Uh, so brand new car for them. Praise God and answer to prayer. God is in the business of answering prayers. And he will meet your every need. I believe it in Jesus' name. Thanks for being partners. Thank you for your blessing. Thanks you for confirming once again uh, that I'm heading in the right direction. I like that. I pray for confirmations every day. The little nuggets that come from God that says, you got it. You're in the right place. Keep going. Uh, I got a new blog. So go to the B on my website. You see there's a B. There's an F for Facebook and a B for blog. There's only two that I can remember. I think there's a YouTube and a, and a P on there for ping and and uh, it doesn't matter. Go to the B, all right? So the B is my new blog. And it'll have pictures from Ohio, Rhode Island, uh, from th those meetings there. And uh, let me know what you think about these broadcasts. Let me know what you uh, think about the website, anything else that we can do to help you. Had a partner call today, hi, Kay, and uh, called up just asking how to get on into the chat. It didn't seem to be working. And we talked her through it, my tech and I. I appreciate my big tech. Thanks, Mark, and uh, everybody that helps there. But uh, please cross your fingers, cross your toes. But more than that, pray. We're believing again March 19th, March, May 19th. Uh, no, please, Lord, let it not be March. That's too long away. May 19th will be the uh, beginning of its time for your miracle. Uh, hopefully the camera will be in and the... Uh, We'll have a meeting on Monday to finalize everything, make sure everything is, uh, there's no uh, no um, coinciding events or anything happening at Tri Lakes. It'll be at Tri Lakes Church, so if you come to Branson, uh, you can come and see it live, 7 Central Time. And uh, for all you on the uh, West Coast, 5 or the Mountain Time, 6, it'll be live and at 8 o'clock Eastern Time, so you can catch it live. And please, please do. If you're in Missouri and in the area, live in Arkansas, Missouri, uh, even uh, Illinois or Kansas. Come on over to Marshfield, Missouri, Lakeside uh, Worship uh, Family Worship Center. I'll be there in a revival. We're going at least four days from the 22nd to the 25th. So you want to make sure May 22nd through the 25th. I believe I got that date right. If I'm wrong, it's on my website. Come on out and be a part. And let me know. I watch and come on out and, and be prayed for. Be blessed and uh, if you uh, don't have any of my singing or the songs, I'll be singing all those songs in that revival. If you don't know what they are yet, that's a good opportunity to get one of my CDs. I got three great CDs, a praise and worship CD, uh, one of the best of, of, that I've taken from all the past. I never had eight tracks, but I had albums and cassettes. And so we put that on the CD, some of the best of so far. And then there's another CD called Valley Walker, which many of you are very acquainted with, my newest one. 
And uh, so if you don't have any of those and you want to know the songs and you're coming to Marshfield, see how I set that up? You know, be a fan. Right above me, above me, is a ceiling fan. And so I put that in there so that it reminds you, be a fan and write us. <laughs> Let us know what you think about this ministry. And uh, I, I just appreciate your prayers and confirming what God is doing. I think I've covered everything. Don't you like that? Life is not just waiting for the storm to pass, but learning how to dance in the rain. And our problems are opportunities to discover God's solutions. He does have a solution for you. So study his word, pray, and seek him, and uh, he'll be there for you. He's, he's never failed. I was going to say he never failed me yet. That's one of my pet peeves. I hate when people put yet at the end. No, he's not going to, so why would you say yet? He's never failed me, period. And so I appreciate your prayers. And uh, I think I've covered everything. Uh, I just wanted to get with you and let you know that uh, this could be the last streaming like this for the webcam. There will be a real full camera with music live and we'll be live with you. And uh, we may have some special guests on the first night that might surprise you. It's it's just going to be it's going to be fun and i'm hoping that it's may 19th if it's not we'll let you know if it's not the 19th it will definitely be on the 26th it's going to be a thursday in may because may has always been the beginning of new things uh, for me and my ministry over the years so i know that's going to be the same uh, also check out the website for the new letter that's coming i got a brand new letter that i really want you to read in the meantime remember it's time for your miracle and so just believe it and receive it in Jesus' name. And we'll see you and talk to you again next Thursday live from uh, Tri Lakes Church in Branson, Missouri. Cross your fingers, pray, believe it. Did I say that at least a hundred times? Yes. Okay. Really want to believe for this. And, uh, and, and come in there and chat live. When we go on live, make sure you're on there chatting and, and giving your praise reports or whatever you need to say. And because and, uh, we're doing this for you. We love you. And uh, I'll see you next Thursday night. God bless.